tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize products or product pages or overall templates uh, with WooCommerce using uh, some hooks. Now, hooks are a WordPress thing, and WooCommerce really takes advantage of it and uses it a lot. Now, when you use hooks, you're using what's called actions, and there's two main functions you're going to want to learn add action and remove action. Now, remove action is exactly what it sounds like. You're literally removing uh, what's already been in place. Now, the first step really is to find where there's a do action uh, function in your theme. Now, I found this, and this is where um, a lot of things about the product is in. So you have your title, you have your rating, price, etc. Now this number over here in their documentation gives the priority. So really what comes next, and etc. Now when you want to go and add different um, actions to this theme in different orders, you can just use where these come into play and uh, you can see where what will come first in the same action. So now when I go over here you can see that I have these add shopping icons and my I made a, a little uh, function which you can see that I call the function right in here and I add it to the product summary which is right here. And I do it under priority 16. So if you look at this, we have uh, priority 10 and there's 20, so we should come in somewhere in between the price and the excerpt. Now the reason why I did 16 is because I wanted to come after uh, 15, which is something that I added later as well um, when I reordered my add to cart. So now let's, uh, let's actually customize this a bit. Um, by removing these actions. I'm going to save this. And let's uh, refresh this page so we can see exactly what it looks like. So this was the default layout. You can see that there really was no... Uh, the Add to Cart button is below the description, which I don't want. Uh, we also have no product icons. So to add these product icons, you can see that I just did an action. I found this by looking at this again, and I figured out what order I wanted to be in. Now let's say we don't have priority, because priority is optional. Let's see what happens. Now I go in here, and you can see it just becomes um, kind of in a uh, way we can't really predict. So to customize it, we can just put it in. I think it'll probably show up in the same spot. Now sometimes it actually comes in after everything else. So we can actually uh, customize this a little bit, and let's say we wanted to come after everything. We just have to make it greater than 50, so let's make it 100. You can see that it's going to come in after everything else. So let's make it 16 again. Now, let's say we don't have a remove action. We only have the add action, 15. Now, you can see that it adds the shopping cart up here in the perfect spot that I want it, but it kept the shopping cart over here. So we have a duplicate because we added this twice. Somewhere in, the, in WordPress, or somewhere in WooCommerce, there is an action that says, this exact same thing. Now we need to overwrite that. How I know it's 30 is in their documentation they say a 30 here. So let's try to remove this. Now let's say I remove it. I don't have that 30. Sometimes it just doesn't work. You can see that it still comes in play. So we add that 30 and you can see that when I refresh the page it is now gone. Now, I also want to remove maybe these categories. So let's, let's play around with these categories. And um, 
you can really kind of see maybe where these products uh, are um, by really looking for uh, what kind of look they're going to be. So the way to remove this is we're going to look for, see it's in product meta, which is cool. So you can see that in here, this makes sense that that, that would be the function. So let's, let's actually remove this and see if this works. So we're going to go and add a function here. We're going to copy this hook. and make sure that it is the same priority. Now let's refresh this and see if our product meta has left and sure enough, it has. Anyway, this concludes the tutorial. I hope uh, this helps you understand how the WordPress and WooCommerce uh, use uh, actions and hooks um, and they're not so uh, monumental and confusing anymore. Talk to you soon.